Hi all, my name is Jarina, one of the nursing trainers from BMAX Academy. Today I am going to describe how to diagnose rheumatic fever by using Jones criteria. Rheumatic fever is an autoimmune inflammatory disorder that affects the connective tissues of heart, joint, subcutaneous tissue, blood vessels and central nervous system. The most common serious complication of rheumatic fever is rheumatic heart disease. Especially, it affects the valves of the heart. In order to diagnose rheumatic fever, we are using a criteria introduced by Dr. Duckett John. It is known as John's criteria. It is mainly divided into two major criteria and minor criteria to diagnose rheumatic fever. First, we will see major criteria. In order to represent the major criteria, we can use a mnemonics. It is known as cases. I will explain. C for carditis. Carditis means inflammation of all the part of the heart, especially the valves of the heart. Second one, arthritis. In rheumatic fever, there will be multiple joint inflammation, especially elbow, knee, wrist and ankles are affected. Next one, subcutaneous nodules. These are painless heart nodules that we can see under the skin. Next one, erythema marginatum. These are the red rashes which appear on the trunk and extremities. Last one, Seidenhans hand scoria. These are unilateral or bilateral involuntary purposeless movement. Next we will move on to minor criteria in John's criteria. In order to represent the minor criteria, we are using a mnemonics. It is known as FRAP. FRAP means F for fever. Then R for raised C-reactive protein or ESR value. A for arthralgia, that means joint pain. Then P for prolonged PR interval. In ECG, there will be prolonged PR interval. Then next P for previous history of rheumatic fever. So in order to diagnose uh, rheumatic fever, there must be two major criteria or one major plus two minor criteria along with history of streptococcal infection should be present. Hope you understood the topic. Thank you.